Hey guys, what's going on? It's Twintuitive717. I am back with another reading, guys. Of course, hang in with this bossy beaver in the basket. And we're going to check in with the Masculine Collective. I'm going to dive right into this reading. Universe, you can see who is watching for the readings. Please provide clarity on their journey. What's going on with the Masculine Collective? What's happening with the Masculine Collective? What kind of lessons are they learning? There's been a lot of karmic energy as well, guys. And I feel too like the masculines, each cycle they go through, they're opening up their eyes a little bit more and more. Um, and an, a repetitive message that I keep getting with the masculine collective is like, what am I doing here? What am I doing here? What am I doing here? This could be something that is very repetitive. It's something that rubs them the wrong way. Like if they're doing the right thing in a certain karmic situation, then why does it keep coming up as a reoccurring thought? Um, of like, what am I doing here? You know, all right, let's get to the bottom of this energy. What's the masculine's learning at this time? Okay, let's start with this one. So we have distance, retreat, or time out. Okay, so they could feel very distant from the karmic situation that they're in, maybe even wanting to create distance or walk away. Um, get away, like I want to get away, okay, is, is a, a message here that's coming out. They could be feeling isolated, and they're very much in their thoughts right now. This could be a lot of air energy as well, so it doesn't have to always be, um, but I feel like it's an amplified message here if your masculine is an air sign. Um, like they're definitely in their head right now, and it's it's not a good feeling. Something is rubbing them the wrong way, or they feel like either the path that they're walking is not the right path um, and they they can't help but ignore it i feel like in the past it was easy to maybe go along with things but as they awaken and i feel like since they've met you as well whoever's watching this reading you in some ways have gotten them to to pay attention to like their inner thoughts or connect more to their inner thoughts or their inner like that inner talk that ends up happening they weren't paying attention to it before or they were being influenced in a way where they couldn't hear that voice very clearly but i feel like since meeting you they can't ignore that voice anymore a lot of your masculines could be silent or they've gone mia or they've gone silent and that's because they have a lot to think about i feel like they want to become unstuck in a way okay uh, how else are they feeling or what else are they learning what are these thoughts about that they're having okay i won't take all of these but what did come is the epiphany and breakthrough card along with twin flames you know a lot of epiphanies are happening as they go through these kind of karmic towers um, I feel like your energy keeps coming up as well. So this is a confirmation that you've definitely helped this person to tap more into their thoughts. They could be isolating themselves away from situations that they're really not sure of. Like, I feel like this is a divine masculine who they don't feel like themselves or it feels really uncomfortable that they're, they're, they're moving further and further away from what used to feel familiar. And it's really uncomfortable. And it's making a lot of them either get into that hanged man position or they just want to hermit altogether. I feel like ever since this whole twin flame journey thing or meeting you, it's completely turned their world upside down. But with the breakthrough and epiphany and the image of like celebration here, I'm feeling like it's it's for the better. Like there could be moments where they feel like their back, backs are against the wall. But something about the twin flame energy or maybe even you as a reminder is maybe helping them along the way the kind of breakthroughs that they're having are painful but insightful okay it's almost like hearing things that you you know you don't want to hear but you know it needs to be said okay and something about moving away from a situation and and taking off the mask okay what else is the masculine learning Okay, so we have party and we have external. Okay, this could be something that this is this could be why they're wanting to distance themselves away from a particular karmic situation, guys. And it doesn't always have to be a person, right? Like this is an example of the, the karmic situation, right? It, your masculine could very well be single, but for some reason they can't they they struggle with staying away from this kind of external environment. 
That's why maybe they're isolating themselves. They're feeling uncomfortable in environments they once felt very comfortable in, right? So they could stay out all night. They could party. They could be with, you know, X, Y, and Z partners and, and go home completely cold and detached. But I feel like ever since meeting you or having this kind of twin flame epiphany or breakthrough here, they just don't feel like themselves. You could be this person's wish fulfillment and now they're taking a good look at where it is they are or what kind of movements they've made in life. They could be questioning their worth as well. Like something about this divine masculine. Okay, they see you as wish fulfillment, but now they're worried. Like taking a good look at like what kind of life they've been living. It could be something about your energy as well that's making this shift happen. How do they see you? Okay, their twin flame. Since the twin flame card came out, how do they see you? Or what, what kind of thoughts do they have about you as they isolate? Okay, so we have forming structure and solid foundation. Okay, that's why they could be taking a good look at themselves and they're not feeling very good about the connection, which is why many of you are experiencing them feeling silent or at a distance or there could be a timeout. Um, they're taking a good look at themselves, where it is they are. And I, I keep hearing like, am I good enough? They wanna get away from a certain environment or lifestyle. Um, and it's all because of you. But it's also creating this feeling of like, am I good enough? I feel like the way they see you is very solid. You might be very like clean cut compared to them. Like they might like to party and like drink, whereas you don't do any of those things. Like I'm feeling your energy is very clean. Okay, you could represent like someone who can be relied upon. Like <laughs> the vibe I'm getting from this reading is like you've whipped this masculine into shape or you're whipping them into shape. Um, they're wanting to be more present with themselves. Like I feel like with party and external, before you showed up, they were comfortable and content with carrying themselves like that. But now that you've showed up, they feel like your eyes are always on them and they want to do better for themselves. So that's why many of your masculines have been silent. Now let's see what they've been thinking about. Um, you know what? I'm going to go with the fairy tarot. Just because I find that the messages at the bottom, they're always so incredibly like accurate. <laughs> this is one of my favorite decks to use in personal readings. Um, but let's see what they're working on now, okay? Now that they've come to this realization, like what, what are they working on when it comes to the Twin Flame journey? Like now that they're moving away from this external environment, they're kind of taking this time out. They could be hermiting again, hanging themselves upside down to maybe put things into perspective. What are some of the things that are coming up for them to work on? Oh, let's clear the energy out of this deck. There we go. What are the masculines working on as they either hermit <laughs> or they're in this hang hand position? What are they putting into perspective? What are they working on? Okay, so we have stability. Okay, this could be money. This could be realizing how much money they've wasted on just not like things that don't like they it can't show anything. They can't. They don't. They they don't have anything to show for what they've been doing. If that makes any sense. Okay, you've come into this masculine's life, and you are making them question every aspect of themselves, but not in a bad way. Like it's really good. They could be feeling a little bit of insecurity here because. Like four is about stability, but sometimes if you have, you know, like too much stability, you get bored and you start doing the same things over and over again, not realizing that this thing, this very thing is maybe draining you, wasting your resources. Now your masculines are realizing that it's like, wait, wait a second, I got to pay attention to my house, right? Because four is an energy of like the four walls around us. They have to pay attention to their, they see you as having a solid structure and foundation. And now the four of pentacles here is coming up for them. They want to match the solid st structure or foundation that you have going. I'll read you guys the message. It says, manage your resources wisely. Achieve a balance in how you spend and save money. 
help out those who are less fortunate. So they could be going on this path of realizing that they've been squandering money. Many of them could be guided to now give back because of the way that they've been carelessly handling money. I feel like maybe wasting it away. Sometimes karmic situations as well can get very tricky where you don't necessarily see that's what you're doing until you hit that brick wall or that tower moment. And then it's like you you know, kind of shake off the rose-colored glasses and you realize the damage that you've done. And the worst part is, is I feel like many of your masculines are like they have themselves to blame kind of thing. It's like only they have been responsible. And I'm also hearing too, like they might've been warned about this already. Like maybe people who care about them, right? Like friends or family. Hey, you know, like you're partying a little too much. Maybe their parents would come up to them and be like, hey, like, wh like what are you doing for work? Like, you know, you, you seem to kind of just, you're jumping all over the place here. You you're not seeming to like want to want to like settle down in any in any way and that's because a lot of your masculines have really been lacking like purpose but now that you are here i feel like they're finding more purpose now they're starting to pay attention to things like their money and their resources building okay many of your masculines have been stuck in this very page energy i feel like now they're ready to get moving okay can we confirm that like, as they move out of this page energy, what are they being told to focus on right now? Okay, so we have a major, oh, a couple of major arcanas here. Okay, so life experience, I feel like this is what you are teaching them, okay? This could be why, like, they're so attracted to you, and, and many of you may feel it energetically, but they're hiding away right now, and it's because they can't face you just yet, okay? We have a tower falling for this masculine. It says here, let go of old belief systems that no longer work for you. An important life-changing event. A situation that leads to significant opportunities, okay? And that's managing their resources a little more wisely. You are the opportunity here, I feel, that leads to significant opportunities for them. Or sorry, <laughs> you are the situation, sorry, that leads to better opportunities for them. Because I'm telling you guys, like ever since you came into their life, they don't want to do these things anymore. I feel like old people, old friends, old karmics, like they're trying to call them. They're not answering their phone because a lot of your masculines have had a rude awakening about what the F am I doing with myself, my time, my life. Like this beautiful, amazing feminine energy has come into my life and it's like I can't even take action because I've just been squander squandering away myself, my time, my energy, right? A lot of your masculines may want to make big moves and bite you over to their place but little do you know they're probably living in their parents basement or you know like they're in some kind of situation where it's they're not as independent as they want to be and i feel like they only have themselves to blame with the way that they've handled their resources with the uh, four of autumn here um but what we also have coming through is the star okay so it says look for the look to the future with hope and optimism the power of the power of faith to move mountains happy changes that bring relief from challenging times okay so whether you guys know it or not with this twin flame card here coming out in this reading many of your masculines are deeply thinking about you as they kind of isolate themselves okay i feel like the star card is you <laughs> whoever's watching this you are the star card here you are the one that helps them to look towards the future with optimism you're the star in this masculine's life that's why many of you can feel them energetically, but they're hiding away. And I feel like a lot of the feminines are like, okay, when are you going to come out to play? But they're like, not yet. I can't play with you like this. Like, I need time to gather myself. Okay, so um, this is bittersweet. You know, it's like, I feel like a lot of your masculines could be like, you know, some days they wake up and they cannot believe that they've attracted you into their life or that you've met. But then there's another half of them that experience a lot of dread because they wonder if you'll wait um, while they become stable. Let's end off this message here with that question. How do you feel towards them in terms of waiting? You know, in terms of holding space for this masculine, how do you feel towards them? Or what is the outcome of this energy between you two? That's way too many. How are you feeling towards them? What is the outcome of this? Okay, so we have very soon. Oh, I love that. So clearly decide what you want so it comes to you 
now. So I feel like many of you may have a decision to make as to whether or not uh, you're wanting to manifest this. Because again, like the vibe I'm getting is many of your masculines may feel like you see them as this very page, this immature energy. They may not re even realize that you're wanting them to come out and play soon. This could be them deciding what it is they want. Do they want this? Or do they want like more structure? Do they want like a more passionate relationship? Um, do they want like a more optimistic attitude, like an, a more optimistic view on life? All right, guys. So that's what I have for you for this short one. Okay, you guys take it easy and I'll catch you in the next reading. Okay, bye guys.